Hello, my name is Adalevka and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how a denial of service attack might happen. Denial of service or DOS attack is an attempt to make a machine or network resource unable to its intended users. Hackers use many different tools to flood these machines or networks with unlegitimate request to slow them down or bring them out of service. You as a security expert or ethical hacker have to be a step ahead of these attacks. You should use some tools such as DOS HTTPS as I'm gonna going to demonstrate in this demonstration. Test your networks before hackers do and if there is any vulnerability patch it down before it's too late. In today's lab, we have three different software requirements. One of the, the first software which we're going to use is from Socketsoft. If you go to Socketsoft.net and download dot .http, which is the HTTP flood denial of service testing tool, this is our main tool for today's demonstration. The second tool is Wireshark. Wireshark is to be a packet sniffer for us to be able to see what kinds of attacks are coming through. Wireshark is going to check all the traffic within your cable and hopefully you will be alerted, you will be seeing the upcoming danger. You can go ahead and download the right version based on your operating system. The third and final tool is of course our operating system. For today's demonstration I'm gonna use two virtual PC. One of them is Server 2012 and the other one is Windows 8. Okay, let's start with our scenario. In this scenario we are going to use the DOS HTTP to create some flood which we call HTTP flood. An HTTP flood is an attack that uses enormous useless packets to jam a web server. All right, let's go ahead and install our software. To do so, I'm going first logging to my computer, enter my username password, Go to my desktop. For this lab environment, I already downloaded the software. It is in my T drive, Z drive, sorry. I go to my DOS attack tools. And I select dot HTTP double click in the exe file the publisher has not been verified but you can go ahead and install based on your in your own risk it is recommended to install software only from verified publishers but in real world, we know this is not always possible. Microsoft Windows is going to warn you with the UAC. Please go ahead and allow this installation to happen. The installation visit will pop up. It tells you what DOS HTTP is. It tells you the, it shows you the user agreement. You can go ahead, agree or decline. In this case, I'm going to agree. Accept the terms and conditions. And then you have to select a destination location to install the software. I'm gonna click next. 
then it's gonna ask you to create if you want a desktop shortcut in this case I'm going to select next again and the installation will start as soon as you click next then it will let you know that the installation is completed you will see the desktop icon has been created for you just go ahead and double click on it it will check if there is an update as soon as it does that it's gonna ask you if you have Agree to terms and conditions. Second time, yes, you done it first time during the installation. This is just to make sure that you are not using their software to, uh, to do some illegal stuff. So if you go through the terms and conditions, you promise to them that you are not going to use the software to doing bad stuff, as I said. So I accept. It's going to check if there is an update. If there is an update, it will pop up and ask you to download it. If not, it's going to ask you to enter the serial key. If you don't have a serial key, you can just try the software out with limited functionality. With this step, we will come to the end of our first step. Now, we are going to have a victim's PC. In this case, uh, is my penetration testing PC, which is Windows Server 2012. I'm going ahead via my RDP connection and entering my username and password. This will log into my Windows. To be able to see the attack, we need to install Wireshark as I just mentioned during the pre-configuration in my beginning of this video. To do so, you can uh, go to wireshark.org and download the software, which I already did. For me, it is in my sniffing folder, sniffing tools. Of course, for you, it's going to be in a different location. So there are lots of tools which you can use, but I believe Wireshark is one of the best. You can use also Microsoft Network Monitoring uh, or many other tools, as I said. Go to Wireshark. Install Wireshark. For this demonstration, I'm not going to go through the installation steps. I'm going to pause the video here, install Wireshark and come back. But for you, just follow the visit at a couple of clicks. Just installing my Wireshark. Click next and complete the installation. Launch Wireshark. Double click on Wireshark. When you first time log into Wireshark, make sure you select the right interface to sniff the environment. Then wait a few seconds until Wireshark knows what's going on in your environment. While this is happening, go back to your Windows 8 PC. Enter the IP address of your target your machine. This could be also internet web server. But in my case, it's my Windows Server 2012, which has an IP address 10.10.10.12. You can select the socket size. You can select 
the request, you can go ahead and verify the URL or simply click start flooding. It is extremely hard. As soon as you click on it, it's going to say, hey, you know what? I'm more than happy to help you to test your web server or your server, but be aware, I'm using a trial version only and I can only send 10,000 requests per session. Are you happy? In this case, of course. Let's go back to our server 2012 PC and let's see if our DOS HTTP program is doing what it's supposed to do. As you can see here, it is sending the request and it's telling you what it does. The test report has been started for five seconds. It did send 9,927 requests. Some of them has been received, some of them has been lost. But again, let's go to server 2012 and see if Wireshark was able to detect some sync attacks. And if you look in our Wireshark, you will see that the attacks are continuously flowing in from that PC uh, and it's going on. You can also verify that as you can see the attacks are coming here. You can also verify this from your task manager by just uh, going to your task manager. In this case, I'm just going to click task manager. Task manager will pop up. Just go to performance button and press on it. You should be able to notice that the Ethernet connection goes very high during the attack. And of course it will come down as this is only a trial version of software. And you can also check this trade from your Wireshark software as well. In this lab, you saw how we can use some commercial software to do some testing. Of course there are many alternative free software such as HPing uh, from Kali Linux or some other software as well which we gonna demonstrate in another video. So in this demonstration you learn how you can do some penetration testing against your own machines or network before the hackers do. And if you go back to your DOS HTTP software, it will give you a report on how many packets were sent, how many responses has been received, and the response rate. I hope you enjoyed the session. I'm looking forward to see you in a new session again. My name is Ardaloskaya, and it was a pleasure to be able to present to you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.